Well, hello and welcome to another video. I am Stanley Orchard and today I am going to show you my top five favorite places to go and do a little bit of fishing out here in Port Aransas and Padre Island. So if you enjoy South Texas, a little bit of fishing, maybe spending some time out at the beach, please consider subscribing and slapping that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity to spend a little time at the beach with us. You killed it. Woo! Our very first stop along our list of great fishing spots here in the Port Aransas and Padre Island area is none other than when you get right off of the dock here at the ferry. This ferry takes passengers across the Corpus Christi ship channel from Aransas Pass into Port Aransas. So they keep this thing dredged out really deep and a lot of big fish like to swim their way through there. There's also a bunch of lights up underneath that ferry and the fish love those lights at night. If you're coming fishing in the Port Aransas area, you need to take a moment to check out the Port Aransas Ferry. All right, the second stop on our tour of the best fishing spots in the Port Aransas and Padre Island area is the Port Aransas Jetty. This is one of my all-time favorite places to come out when the water is really clear like it is right now. It's great to get down here and do a little bit of spear fishing, but if it's not, it's always a good spot to come and get yourself a couple of big redfish or maybe get yourself into some trout, Spanish mackerel, you name it. The Port Aransas Jetty has got it for you. Number three on our list of fantastic destinations to do a little bit of fishing here in Port Aransas is a little bit of a bonus for you. I've actually got two spots for you in this selection alone because they're pretty much really similar fishing spots. And that is Horace Caldwell Pier and Bob Hall Pier. Both of them are situated at different spots along the island, but both of them are an excellent way to get out a very good distance into the water so that you can get into those fish that like to hang out in the deep guts a little farther out past the surf. It can be just a little bit difficult to find yourself some good real estate out on the piers, and it can definitely get difficult hauling them up if you manage to get yourself into something big. Be prepared to bring yourself a big net. Now, on to spot number four. Number four on our list of wonderful places to go fishing here in Port Aransas and on Pottery Island is one that is very dear to my heart, and that's because I was essentially raised at this spot. That is the Fish Pass Jetty. This is one of my all-time favorite places to come fishing, surfing, or even just playing at the beach. Now, the fishing here isn't as good as it used to be when I was younger. It gets hit pretty hard, and where I'm standing right now actually used to be a channel. They don't dredge it out anymore, and it's all full of sand, so it's not as deep, and you don't get as many fish coming through here. That doesn't mean they're not here, though. If you're looking for a certain species of fish down here on Pottery Island, this is a heck of a place to try it. Now, our fifth and final spot on this tour of amazing places to go and do a little fishing down here on Pottery Island is one of my absolute all-time favorites, and that is the Padre Island National Seashore. You see us do a lot of fishing out here on our videos, and there's a very good reason why. Now, to the untrained eye, this is going to look like just about every other stretch of beach on the island, but there is a significant difference between coming here and going anywhere else. The further south you go, the deeper these guts get. And the deeper they get, the bigger the fish can be when they're cruising up and down the guts looking for things to feed on. Your goal should be to get as far south as you can get, get into those deeper guts and get yourself some bigger fish. Like some more information on some spots that probably should have been on this list, like Packery Channel, Mustang Island State Park, and some other secret spots that I didn't talk about. We will do some more videos on those in the future, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I get back with every single one of those comments and I'm happy to answer your questions. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, and slap that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity. Spend a little bit of time with us out here at the beach and we will see you in the next video.